Sorry. Focus. I'm here. <laughs> Criminal rents a car to rob a bank, then returns to buy a BMW with the stolen cash. Okay. This one comes from Lad Bible, actually. Okay. So you know it's legit. Well, I mean, that I can see how this that could be misconstrued as dumb, but I'd like to hear it. No, no, no. It's dumb. Okay. It's 100% dumb. There's no... When I read it, there's no no room for clarification or... Ooh. Ding, round one. <laughs> here we go. All right, here's your story. A man has admitted federal bank robbery. If you don't stop dinging the bell. <laughs> I didn't mean <laughs> you to. You keep hitting your utterly amazing <laughs> cup. Let's do it. Go. All right, ready? Yes. A man has admitted federal bank robbery after renting out a car from a car dealership, driving it to a bank, robbing that bank, then driving back with the cash and attempting to buy a BMW. 50-year-old sentenced to 20 years in prison. <laughs> This is where it takes a turn. Here's the story. So he went to a car dealership in actually Lubbock, Texas. So not mm. not far from where you live. But I also the, don't know the state of Texas. No, I was about to say that's not. That's six and a half hours from here. This five is a, and a half. This is a big state. It's close to where I went to college. Okay, so Lubbock, Texas. And I've been there many times. Many times. Mm, it's an interesting place. Uh, tell me a lot of dumb shit happened. Tell there. me more later. I will because <laughs> I'm in the middle of my story. Ah, uh, well, you asked me a question and you stated a wrong fact. So go ahead. <laughs> Geographically, Happened this in Lubbock, is, Texas. It's a big state. Once he arrived at the bank, he placed a fast food bag on the counter, passed the cashier a note. And I'm allowed to swear on this podcast, right? Fuck yeah. He said, this is a fucking robbery. Play with me and die. I want $10,000 in 50s and $100 bills. You have one minute or that's it. And then he rolls off in a little tricycle with a clown mask on. It sounds like much. Saw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's about that. Picture wow. that. <laughs> He later then produced what appeared to be a handgun, telling the member of the bank staff, I'm not playing around, I want hundreds and fifties. Then, according to prosecutors, the bank teller gave him a roll of 20s that had like track serial numbers or whatever, so good on the bank teller. He then took the $5,086 he was given back to the same car dealership where he rented the car. Wait, what bank is this? This is five thousand dollars. That's five thousand and eighty-six. It's very specific in the article. I'd be pissed. Well, oh, he wanted ten thousand, so it was like that's a, it. It was like a fifty percent off. I'm gonna rob a bank. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go hard. I mean, because no in. matter what, if I get caught, I'm going to prison. Well, that's a good point. So why not go for like three hundred well, thousand? Have they not seen any of these movies that maybe tell it was you when like, to like time the trucks and maybe it was like a used BMW? Oh, this is dumb shit people do. This is so a good point. why not, am I asking you, smart questions? You, see, you're overthinking it. I am. You gotta Hold on, bring yourself down. My brain down to come down to their level. IQ of seventy three and go sixty two. Mm, that sounds about <laughs> right. Yep. Okay. So he then took his $5,086 back to the car dealership where he was seen in the process of buying a black BMW. I love the specifics. How close is gives. the bank to this car dealership? It's got to be it's fairly close. Miles? <laughs> yeah, just around the corner. You just see him pull in, <laughs> yeah. pull out, the go to the next The park. teller's got the, like, where you do the hand goggles, like, over your eyes, and they're like, the he's there. is in the parking lot of the car dealership. <laughs> they're connected. It's like a, you know, all in one. You get your financing and your automobile. Like, yeah. <laughs> Robs the bank, walks next door, <laughs> buys a car. Yeah. And then there's a McDonald's on the other side. That's where he got the restaurant bag. Um, mm -hmm. See? Right, go ahead, go ahead. We're... We're making too much sense of it. It's yeah, all coming that's together. That's true. So, the prosecution team said the perp, I won't name names just in case he's listening, <laughs> began waving the cash they had illegally attained at a, an employee at the dealership. So, he walks in, you know, real cocky, real confident, just starts all waving All that around. money he just stole. <laughs> all that 5000 <laughs> in 50s and 100s. He's like, take this, Fucking employee. Man. See, but you know there's a backstory there. I sold cars. That's why this one relates. I sold for five years. Was he a co-worker? Was it, he was. He used to work there. I was part of this. I wasn't, but no, he didn't Wait. work there. I'm not from Lubbock. You, what? What? Go back to the story. I'm <laughs> instantly no, I'm saying, confused. I'm saying, you know there's a backstory here. Oh, 100%. You know he went to that car dealership before. He probably checked well, the car out. I was thinking maybe he's an ex-employee. He could be. I mean, of the bank and the car dealership. <laughs> and now the McDonald's. His application on the counter. So... You know he went in there because, like I said, I sold cars. I know, I know the process. He went in. He wanted to look at it. He might have test-driven it, talked about financing. They said, you need this much money down. You needed a down payment. 
So that's why I went. He had his specific amount. But so you know he was there before. And then that's why he's waving it around in their face because he's like, I told you. I told you I could do it. Didn't say how, but <laughs> so it's, it literally says not the smartest move ever. You could also just say that's some dumb shit. But so then things started to unravel for him when the authorities got in touch with the car dealership 15 minutes later. After he robs the bank, the cops are calling the dealership 15 minutes later because the getaway car was registered to the dealership. So the cops had it on camera, knew where to call. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> cops showed up at the dealership, found him with the cash as well as a pellet gun that he had altered to look like a real weapon. Then so he robbed the bank. Yeah, with, with a pellet, pellet gun, gun that he altered. Is he 12? 50. Oh, yeah, he's 50. He's not 12. Oh. He pled guilty. Uh, he was arrested with $5,086 in cash. Serial numbers matched. They did all that kind of fun stuff. Law enforcement also recovered a painted pellet gun resembling a real handgun approximately 10 feet away at the time of arrest. The demand note was given to the teller and analyzed, and it found his fingerprints and DNA all over it. Then it's, <laughs> the article ends, all in all, not the cleverest idea this guy has ever had. I think you're giving a little bit of too much credit. That's some dumb shit. I, I just, if I'm going to rob a bank, yeah, I better get in the upwards <laughs> of a few hundred thousand dollars. Not that you've thought about this. Nah. No. No. No, I haven't thought about it. But who in the hell steals $5,000 <laughs> just for a down payment? If I'm stealing something. <laughs> That's a good point. Because you know, It's a BMW. You know it costs more than so $5,086. Really, I'm, I'm going to break the law. <laughs> To then finance a car. I don't want to assume anything based off of this gentleman's life. Maybe he didn't have the best credit. So maybe we aren't giving him enough credit. He I looked at this. I declined a credit card. Didn't well, yeah. want to go ro rob the Federal Reserve. <laughs> no, but so, I need so think two about grand. It. Maybe Let's go rob a bank. He's excuse me. I need two grand. No more. <laughs> no less. Two grand. Yeah, two grand and twenty one cents. And twenty one. Yeah. Real specific. No, but so maybe his his credit score is hurting. He looks at this. He's like, man, I can't take out that loan that I need to renovate my bathroom. <laughs> Something. I'm trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt here. I don't think I can. That's why this is I'm I'm the 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 kindness here. Ooh, no. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. And you're just going to certified <laughs> dumb shit. Ooh, stamp it. Yep. <laughs> certified dumb shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> that's that's not the sound. That's not a sound. Makes. It goes. It's like. The, a splash? <laughs> it sounds like we're we making drop a splash. The, we drop the stamp in the water in the sink. <laughs> okay, certified certify dumb shit. That was solid. That was kind of cool. I'll give you that one. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, back to the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. He looked. He said, I can't get that loan. What can I do? I can buy a car. Cars are a fantastic way to build your credit if you can do it. So, goes to the dealership, says, I'm going to, I need this. They say, no. He's like, how much do I need for a down payment? They're like, 5000 and some change. <laughs> he goes, gets 5000 and some change. And then he's like, this, I'm not hurting anybody. It's a pellet gun. <laughs> Can't harm anyone. <laughs> he's like, I got this really specific number. My credit score is going to be great. My babies are going to love that new tub. What? Wait. I know. Hold I on. have an entire picture of this guy's I life see, in my head. But how did we get from this BMW to this renovated bathroom? I, I meant to it's ask a loan. That a it's a ago. home loan. That's why he, he got denied for the home loan, mm. decided to build his credit. That's why he went to the, the car dealership in the first place. It didn't work out. He went to the bank. All right, I'm going to be honest. That It was none of that. He had a pellet gun that he painted. He's like, I'm going to rob only 10 grand. 50 years old. Yeah. What did I say? 20 years in prison? I think so. Something like that. Yeah. 20 years. 20 over five thousand dollars and five thousand and eighty five thousand dollars and wait five thousand eighty six thousand eighty six dollars, but he wanted ten grand. What kind of BMW do you think it was? The uh, fucking used one. <laughs> two thousand eight. It's a two thousand and thirteen BMW M three. No, that'd be no. I, I'm making it up. Oh, again, that's very I'm, believable. I'm, thank you. I used to sell cars. I know a thing or two. You used to sell cars I'm, in an improv lounge. <laughs> Great. No, it was a. He was a well-known. All right, you are now pulling out your phone. So one of two things I have, have to happened. Pull out my phone. One of two things has happened. I have I'm either fact-checking you on Google <laughs> real quick to make sure you are actually who you are. 
I was gonna say, I have either bored you to the point of you are no longer interested yeah, I'm in what done. I have to say, I'm on my or phone now. it is now your turn for me to ask you what dumb shit story you brought to the table. What dumb shit did people do that you found? 